In this video, we are going to complete example two, and this time we're calculating two angles, angle X and angle Y in each diagram below. And once again, we're not using a protractor, we're calculating the angles. So when we look at question A, it looks like they've only really given us two of the angles, the 49 degree angle and the right angle, which is really 90 degrees. And people who first look at this might think, oh, that's, that's not possible. We need to know at least one other angle before we can calculate this. But that's not true because you will notice we've got a nice straight line. And that means that the angle X and the 90 degree angle must add up to 180 degrees. So X is 180 minus the 90. X actually equals 90 degrees as well. All right, now let's look at Y. Once again, we've got a nice straight line at the bottom and we've got two angles that must add up to 180 degrees. So Y must be 180 degrees minus 49 degrees. So that means it's going to equal 131 degrees. Now we're going to look at question B, which is going to be a bit more tricky. You will notice you actually have two straight lines on this one. I'll mark them both in orange. This line and this line here. Now we learned earlier that if you have two straight lines that intersect at a point, then you will have what are called vertically opposite angles. Meaning that the angle of 135 degrees must be the same as the angle opposite that. So angle X plus the 81 degree angle must equal 135 degrees. So we can find X simply by saying, or calculating, sorry, 135 minus 81. What do we get when we do that? We get 54 degrees. So now we've found X. Sometimes with questions like these, it helps to write that down. 54 degrees, like so. Now we need to find angle Y. There's actually a couple ways we can do this. Probably the easier way to do it would be to focus on this orange line here, this orange straight line. We know that if it's a straight line, the angles add up to 180, meaning the Y and the 135 degree angle must add up to 180. So Y is 180 degrees minus 135 degrees. And when I subtract that, I find out that Y is actually a 45 degree angle. That concludes our video on example two. Just remember, if you read the description below the video, you will find attached worksheets related to this example.